for all the saints who from their labors rest, all who thy faith be for the world confess. Your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. their fortress and their might. You, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. You, in the darkness, drew their one true light. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, the Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here on this Saturday as we celebrate the feast of St. Cornelius and St. Cyprian, both of them. One a bishop, one a pope, both of them martyrs. As we gather here today to realize that our faith has been built upon the blood of the martyrs, that their great witness to Jesus offers us inspiration and hope. Let us pray for the times that we have denied the Lord, for the times that we were too embarrassed to admit of our faith. Let us ask our Father and Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, to forgive us. Let us pray. O God, who gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spread ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, this saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of this I am the foremost. But for that reason I was mercifully treated, so that in me as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the King of ages, incorruptible, invincible by only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun, in the name of the Lord be praised. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of the store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. 
Why do you call me Lord, Lord, but not do what I command? I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, listen to my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundation on rock. But when the flood came, the river burst against the house, but it could not shake it because it was well built. But the one who listens and does not act is like a person who built a house on the ground without a foundation. When the river burst against it, it collapsed at once, and it was completely destroyed. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, the powerful gospel that Jesus, that we have today. And I always like that powerful gospel that reminds us of the importance of building our lives on a solid foundation. And of course, what is that solid foundation? Of course, it's faith. That we build our house on the rock that is Jesus Christ. And Jesus makes it very clear. He goes, I will show you someone who comes to me, listens to my words, and acts on them. Isn't it true many people will come to Jesus? Many people will hear those words. Many people may or may not act on them. That's what Jesus says. It's more than just coming to him and listening. It's also acting on his words. And he uses that great example of a foundation. That when it rains, the floods came, the river burst against the house, but it could not be shaken because it was well built. That's what happens when our lives are rooted in Jesus Christ and in faith. So when the storms of life come, which inevitably they do, we will not lose our faith. We will not collapse against the pressures of the world, but instead will remain strong. And that's because our rock is Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial days of Saint Cornelius, who was a pope and a martyr, and Saint Cyprian, a bishop and a martyr. Pope Cornelius fought against heretics, and with St. Cyril Cyr Cyprian's help, he asserted authority over those heretics. But the emperor, the emperor at the time, Gallius, did not appreciate that. He ex put him into exile, and in exile he died. Cyprian, again, was um, part of the persecution of Valerian, and so also gave up his life for the faith. But as they gave up their life, it encouraged the disciples at the time, encouraged the people to continue and to give them hope in their witness that they were not afraid to give up their lives and to offer it for Jesus. And so today we see that our foundation our faith is built upon Christ. It also has been fertilized by the blood of the martyrs. They have been his witness. Let us too be faithful witnesses to Jesus, our rock and our foundation. It is with trust in God's care for us that we offer our petition that the Lord may continue to look graciously upon his church and bestow upon her every blessing, so she may bear good fruit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may govern those who, that the Lord may help those who govern throughout the world in ensuring right and just peace, prosper, prosperity, and freedom for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, that we may be a people dedicated to human life, from the very moment of conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may we be led by the Spirit in doing as Jesus commands, loving our neighbors in a multitude of ways, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the healing power of Christ 
may come upon and relieve all suffering, physical and mental pain, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who have died may soon see the face of God and rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now unite our prayers into one. Let us lift them up to our Heavenly Father, along with the prayers that are in the silence of your hearts. And let us pray just as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of all creation, hear our prayers and provide us in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And when the strife is fierce, the wherefore fair long seals on the earth the distant triumph song, and hearts are brave again, and arms are very strong. Alleluia, alleluia, the golden evening brightens in the west, soon, soon to faithful warriors come their rest. Sweet is the calm of paradise, the blessed. Ah, ah, ah.